Hello Scorpio, how are you today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber, returning visitor. Let's get started. Hope everyone's doing well and I'm grateful to have you with me today. Let's look at Scorpio's love reading. We have the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. We have Sagittarius energy. Something has happened in the recent past to make you look at the bright side of life. The Ace of Swords says that in your heart space you want reunion, reconciliation, but it's also you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You want a lover and intend on having a lover who is very straightforward and honest with you. Beautiful energy. Along with the Sagittarius energy, Spirit says you are rolling the dice at the table and you are likely to get what you want. How you view your life moving forward, nine of wands. You know, you've got a lot of heavy lifting to do right now. In terms of love, you have fire in your belly. You're willing to fight the good fight for the right person under the right circumstances. It is Sagittarius energy, so it really is something that you may even be dreaming about. You know, when you go to sleep, I think you might really be thinking philosophically about what you're willing to do in a relationship. That's a message Spirit's giving me. The Two of Wands, how everybody sees you. Everybody in your life feels as though you are at a crossroads. The Two of Wands is a beautiful period of time in which you're going to make a definite decision on a path. So, always like the Two of Wands. It really, you know, it shows that you're really thinking about what you want and how to manifest it. The Justice card is in your heart space, Libra energy. You want someone who's going to be fair and balanced and kind and honest. You want someone who knows how to argue like a lawyer <laughs> without being a lawyer. You want somebody who's logical. That's what I really see here. You want somebody with equal give and take, somebody who's balanced, somebody who's uh, reserved, you know, somebody who has that soft Venus, Saturn uh, energy of Libra because Venus and Saturn rule Libra. And you want somebody who's grounded down to earth, somebody who's realistic, but somebody who has that beautiful, beautiful Libra kindness and sweet energy. As you move forward, you want to do boldly, you want to do it boldly, you want to be lifted into the air. I feel as though some of you may be taking a trip somewhere, air travel, but what we're seeing here is that you want a relationship and intend on a relationship that is going to uplift you. No more quote-unquote Donnie or Debbie Downers. None of that's going around right now. You are flying high. You feel really good about how you look, how you feel. You're feeling at a really beautiful point in your life after some heartache. You know, it looks as though you've had your fair share. Well, I don't like to say fair share, but you look like you've done your work with that Nine of Wands energy, Scorpio. Here you are in your reading. What is hidden? You are willing to sort of separate the sea or the ocean or part the waves for anyone who you deem as serious with you. If you meet your counterpart, if you meet your kindred spirit, you will really go the distance with them. You want someone who is emotionally available, somebody who could be a little bit aloof, a little bit private, very private because it's Scorpio energy, but you want someone who will do the same for you as you do for them. So it's beautiful. It really speaks about how focused you are on love, that you're manifesting love with that Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. You know what to do when you get it with the Nine of Wands. And destiny is moving in your favor. Look at what just passed. In. Okay. This flipped over. You have an emperor. Spirit is saying... Allow your inner emperor to come out and make decisions about the people who pass through your life. When you're busy make the, making this two of wands crossroad decision, make sure you think of the long term, the future. You know, use your best moves. You know, when we look at the emperor, this is somebody who's very strategic. You know, the emperor doesn't just fall over for anybody that comes along. So spirit is recommending that you really boss up, but you are. You know, when I look at this reading, you really are very bossed up right now in the way of love. Now, I think for many of you, you have an emperor coming into your life or a king of cups. So I do feel that way. 
I also feel many of you may have a, uh, a Libra energy with the Justice card. It could be an attorney, it could be somebody who deals with the law, or somebody who deals with legal relationships, like business partnerships, financial fiduciaries, people who have a responsibility to you legally to partner for your best interest. The beautiful uh, emperor here is really a stunning energy. It's Aries. You resonate really highly with this person because you both are ruled by the planet Mars. Your outcome, Scorpio, the Queen of Cups. What beautiful energy is this? You're really feeling loved in your heart space. It's Cancerian nurturing energy. You're keeping it to yourself. I feel as though you have someone in your life. You haven't really made a decision. You're at a crossroads. But let's look and see what the clarifiers are for these cards before we finish up here or go to the extended. I will have an extended. So let's see what the energy is for our Scorpio friends. I'm going to give you the table shot. Okay, everybody likes the table. You like, to, you like to see the cards. That's what my subscribers keep telling me. You like to see the cards. Okay, so we definitely will do that. Let's see, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What impact, what effect will the Wheel of Fortune have on you as you move forward at this time? Putting the past behind you, Scorpio. Very good. Really, I love this energy for you. It's really about healing. It's about putting the past behind. You do it in a beautiful light. You do it very philosophically. You know, you say, I don't really regret any of my experiences. They made me the person that I am. I forgive those who have trespassed against me. I hope they forgive me if I've hurt them. You are an exquisite beautiful philosophical space right now which is very uh it really feeds your soul you know you want truth you want integrity why is the ace of swords here the ace of swords is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth why is it here in your reading for your current energy why is it here yeah, Five of Swords. You're just not having it. You've had people lie to you in the past, and now you are really looking and focusing on people that tell the truth, that don't get annoyed with you, that are not hiding their phone. Um, you know, you don't want anybody to take advantage of you, and you are, your spidey senses are up. Your instincts are excellent right now, Scorpio. The Four of Pentacles. You're going to hold back until somebody proves themselves worthy of you, until you find out that they tell the truth, large and small, no matter what the topic is. You do have fire in your belly to build a relationship, but you're not going to give up yourself here until you're really ready. So you are holding back right now. When we look at the Two of Wands, that is a crossroads. How will that work out for you? Okay, you have, oh wow, <laughs> you are hanging around looking at things from a different perspective and the lover's card just appeared for your person. There is somebody who is watching you, somebody that I think that you know about with the lover's card, uh, somebody who, you're just taking a wait and see attitude. You know, you'll make a decision when the time is right, when it's appropriate. But this beautiful lover's energy is Gemini and Virgo, and excuse me, Gemini energy. And it's all about making a choice. And you're going to make a choice to be fair to yourself, fair and balanced. Why is the Justice card here for beautiful Scorpios? Taking it a day at a time, planning ahead, letting things unfold, not getting ahead of yourself. Beautiful. Why is the Eight of Wands here passionate? The bed springs are squeaking and you are single, ready to mingle. You look great. You're getting a lot of attention. People are like, when you walk into a room, they're just stopping and looking at you. I think sometimes you think that, you, you know, you have your shirt on backwards or something because you're like, why is everybody staring at me all of a sudden? So you are glowing up, Scorpio. You look good. You smell good. You present yourself beautifully. You're fair. You're balanced. And you are content. You're content as a single. You'd like another coin to make that ten of coins. But for now, you are in a beautiful, beautiful space. The five of coins is what's hidden. 
in the past, somebody that you really thought who promised to love you at a very deep level, somebody who promised to be there to protect you, somebody who promised to be, you know, this is a very protective energy, but they left you out in the cold. So right now, your feeling is that they have to prove themselves. They have to be an emperor. No more of this energy of the Five of Pentacles, 